President Biden is patting himself on the back over our economy. The president tweeting this, thanks to the economic plan and the vaccination plan that my administration put into action, America has achieved the most robust recovery in modern history. But a new poll reveals 83% of you, the American people, describe the economy as poor. Here to react is host of Varney and Company and American Built on Fox Business, Stuart Varney. Good morning, Stuart. Good morning, Ainsley. Good morning. So he, yes. he polls well when it comes to vaccine. <laughs> Vaccinations and when yes. it comes to uh, what he did with COVID. So do you think they're lumping that in with the economy in this tweet so that the America says, oh, yeah, we remember that? Oh, they're trying to, obviously. The most robust recovery in modern history. Well, I'll call that a desperate political spin operation. Biden is completely ignoring the vicious inflationary spiral that we are now in which is a real danger to the economy. It could kill the economy. He's ignoring that in the interest of spin that he's just got this wonderful recovery. What it's doing is actually killing the people who are supposed to be Democrat supporters, working people, low-income people. They're suffering mightily from what's going on right now. Did you see today? The average price for a gallon of regular gas across the United States has now reached, what is it, 492 up another nickel overnight. $5. 492. 491. We had it last time. Oh, okay, okay last 491. Day. I'll I'll take 491. Right, okay. Right. It's, it's 491. It doesn't matter. Now look at a map of the United States and you can see where the $5 uh, handle now applies. It's 13 states plus the District of Columbia. You're already at $5. And California, you're well into $6.30. So that is an inflationary spiral that hurts working people and the president is digressing but trying to claim some robust economic recovery and ignoring the inflation problem that we've got and it's a serious problem. Everyone's curious, is Elon Musk going to buy Twitter? <laughs> What's the latest news? Well look, there's a lot of maneuvering. He has threatened to withdraw his bid for, for Twitter because he says Twitter is not supplying him with the right information about these fake accounts. Mick Musk says, I want that information and you're covering it up. And if you don't give it to me, I'm out of this deal. That's the status quo as we speak. What is Twitter saying? Twitter is saying, we've given you this information and don't quibble with it. So does so he want out of the deal? Well, I think Musk either wants out of the deal completely without paying the billion dollar breakup fee, or he wants to do the deal at a much lower price. He offered to do the deal at 54.20 per share. Mm -hmm. Twitter is now at about $39 per mm -hmm. share. He might get that down and take the company. But if he did pull out of this deal so that he could and wants to recover the billion dollar breakup fee, wouldn't they go to court and then there's going to be yes. evidence whether or yes. not they have the information? He oh, has the information. This will or not. end up in court. How many fake accounts are there or not? It will end up in court. What do you think the reason is that he could be possibly changing his mind? Maybe he's found out just what a rotten company Twitter is to start with. Uh, maybe he's a little. Uh, diverted by Tesla, SpaceX, and all the other operations he's got, and he finds himself in the middle of this contentious deal for Twitter, mm -hmm. maybe he's just had enough. I don't think so. I think he wants it. I think he wants it at a lower price, right. eventually. He just wants a deal. I think so. All right. Thank you, Stuart. Thank you. And, and you can watch his new episode of American Built on Fox Business. It happens tonight at 8 o'clock. The, the atom bomb tonight, Ooh. 8 o'clock. Oh, wonderful. A good one. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs>